I'm gonna hook up to that thing. I'm gonna put some grease in it and go over it, check some of the nuts, make sure they're still good and tight. That's what we're about to do. Well, uh, it's 400 watt mill halides. Take a little while to come on, but them things are 15, over 15 years old now. And I've never changed the bulb in any of them. But those were the cat's meow back 15 years ago. I got better stuff now. Finna drop this thing off. I did not weld this thing on like what I was going to. And I didn't do it because I was pondering on what I was going to do. What I'm going to do is, is I'm going to get me another piece of metal just like this one right here. And I'm going to put me a, a T-bolt or a knob or something on it to where I can lock it down just like this one is. And it's going to slide. It's going to slide up and down it just like that right there. And then I'm going to have another piece of metal that's that same size that's going to weld to it. Basically what this thing's going to do is going to sit on there just like that and go up and down. And not only is it going to go up and down, but I'm going to fix it to where it can slide left and right at the same time. That's why I did not weld that thing on yet because I, I figured that was a better way to do it. I just needed some time to ponder on it. So that's the game plan. Finna unhook from this. Hook to the disc. Back it up in here. Check the bolts. The nuts on it. Make sure everything's good and tight. Grease it. We're going to go plow, baby. So a lot of y'all know who KU South is. Jason. He so texted me a while ago and he says, uh, man, I just filmed a rolling coal in a John Deere video. And I'm like, really? 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 Because the John Deere videos and the Rolling Coal videos are hot as firecrackers right now, man. So look, he ain't gonna one up me. Uh uh, dog ain't gonna one up Cotton Top 3. Heck no. So what am I gonna do? I'm freaking John Deere disc trailer Rolling Coal all together, baby. We're gonna get it all at one time. So cut you south, shove it, man. Those things are tricky to hook up to, solo. I've never figured me out in my mind a fix for that to where I can do it by myself a lot easier. I'll show y'all later how I'm going to do it. We're going to check these axle nuts real quick on the disc. Those up there, I'm not worried about them. They're, they're double locked down. These here are the ones I'm going to check. I'm going to check them. Pump grease all in it. That's a good looking rig, dog. Look here you are. That thing looks good. Eat your heart out, Kuyu style. All you who like the impact gun. I hope somebody had their earmuffs in on that one there. Got it greased up. I still got a little bit of tweaking to do on it. It's not exactly right, and I know that. I got, I'm gonna check the distance here. I'm gonna bring it in here in the shop and just kind of go over it real good. But uh, I get it. Just uh, pretty much just one main run with it is all I've done. I'm not sure what this tractor weighs with the, you know, with the tractor and then with the loader and the bucket on it. I do know this, this tractor is a lot heavier than my new hauling that I used to have. This thing, this thing is heavy, heavy, heavy. Got a lot of weight on it, man. I swear. This tractor is so comparable, even though it's 100 horsepower, so comparable to my 100 horsepower case that I used to have. It's crazy. Size and everything. A lot of y'all seen the pictures and stuff of that tractor. I got a couple of videos on YouTube, though. You can look through my uh, tractor playlist and uh, see it. I don't know, I may have to pull it up a little bit further, but I wasn't expecting to have to set that bucket all the way up there all that far up on there like that i may even have to put it up a little bit further we'll see that's why i like the airbags i've got that truck tractor almost all the way forward got a few more feet i can go but look that truck is not squatting at all setting level i had people say that that truck right there would not pull what my goal 2003 with a 59 and it will pull I'm here to tell you, the people who told me that, that that truck right there will not pull what my gold truck will pull, they don't know what they're talking about. My gold truck is, is 5'9 with a 6 speed manual and 410 gears in the back end. This truck is a 6 speed automatic with 342s in the back end. That son of a gun right there don't know when to quit. That is the pullingest 
mofo I have ever driven in my life, man. I would hate to see what that thing would do, delete it. And I'm gonna delete it one of these days, but that thing right there with our backhoe on it, that uh, John Deere with the 401 front Buxton hoe cab, four wheel drive, that backhoe weighs 19,000 pounds. It will pull that backhoe on that trailer like it is nothing behind it, man. It's crazy. Crazy. Well, Hunter's not gonna be happy when he has to mow over this right here. Let me straighten it up a little bit for him. But anyhow, that uh, that six seven in that truck there will throw freaking down, man. I gotta bind it right quick. Throw my binders on it. And we're going to disc, man. All right, here we go, man. I'm gonna let y'all watch this thing pull here. I've got it all switched on, got the Jake on, the tow haul is on, got my trailer brakes set the way I want them. I've got a hill i got to pull right here. I'm going to let y'all watch the boost here as I go up this hill. So we are fixing it today. Got both windows down too. Let's go, baby. Behind it, man. Look at that thing. Just pull. All right, idiot. Get on your side of the road. It just won't quit. I like the tow haul mode the way that it acts. I like it. Let y'all listen to it when I go to slow down. Listen how it down shifts. And the airbags on the back here make a huge difference. I don't have it flat footed by no means right there. We're here, baby. Go plow some field. She thinks my tractor's sexy. I can't remember the rest of it. Hey, come it. I even listened to that song before I came over here. Dang it, ruined it. Boy, you put your red with a disc and a John Deere and a Dodge with a Cummins in it and a gooseneck. You got your daily comp and trying to one up another redneck. Oh yeah. Cool you south, you're going down. This is that deer coming. Yeah. I've got to stop and show y'all something here. Okay. If this was Kuyu South Jason here, he'd be down here, y'all. Look at that. Little old. Is that a little old hog track? That's what he'd be doing. Little old hog track. Little hog track. I'm telling you, Kuyu South, you're going down. So I'm about to diss this field. I come up here and there's freaking deer all in my field here. The scooter, the excavator's okay, it ain't gonna move it, but I'm finna move this scooter, a 748 G2, or G3, what is that thing? That's a G2, yeah, that's a G2. 437, somebody asked me what was the advantage over that thing over my track loader. <laughs> There's no advantage. And I said it in the video, we don't even use that d limber at all. It's just on there when we bought it. We bought that one used. <laughs> there's no advantage of those things other than it just being a loader and it's cheaper it's just less money than what a track loader costs that's the reason why you see some so many of them running somebody say well tim you you spoil rotten punk you you just don't know how good you got it and blah blah this and you 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 people would people would give anything to have that i know I know. You ought to see what we started out with, man. 
I know exactly what it's like to struggle. Don't think we didn't struggle. There's a lot of people look at, look at me and Kevin and Derek and Dad and think we ain't never struggled. You sadly mistaken, man. Sadly mistaken. It's taken us, listen, more than 30 years to get to where we at now. So I'll tell you all about struggling, man. Different, always something different. Different stuff, different machine. 